Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. You are at Ellie Talks Money and I am so, so excited for today's video. My name is Ellie, I am a business coach and I teach you all how to start your business from the ground up so that you can increase your income streams and make more money. So on this channel, we talk all things business, um, financial literacy and everything that you need to dive into any avenue of business that you are passionate about. In today's video, we are going to talk about something really, really important that a lot of new business owners don't actually think about or take into account, and that is having a virtual address for your business. So make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel so you're notified every single time I post a video and let's get right into it. All right, you guys, so virtual addresses. So in this video, we are going to cover where you're going to get a virtual address, what a virtual address is, why it's useful for your business, and at the end, I'm gonna share with you a secret as to how you're going to make your whole payment basically free, okay? So you do not wanna miss that because I am always teaching you guys how to elevate your business and save money. So let's get right into it. First things first, what is a virtual address, okay? So a virtual address is essentially where you can register your business at a different address other than your home address. So when you're setting up your LLC, and I'm gonna link a video here that'll teach you how to set up your LLC on your own, but when you're setting up your business, because of the fact that it's a separate entity from you, you don't want your home address to be listed with your LLC because it's public record. So what that means is anytime someone looks up your LLC, if you use your home address, your personal phone number, and all of these things that belong to you personally, they have access to it. So what a virtual address does is it allows you to have that separation between you and your business, which is the key, right? This is why we're starting businesses in the first place to have separate entities, to be able to maintain that corporate veil, and to ensure that our business can stand as its own entity, okay? Now, the reason why a virtual address is important is number one, it maintains that separation, Number two, it allows you to have more legitimacy and credibility in your business. So let's get into that, right? So when we think about building your business credit, and I'm gonna link another video here where I walk you guys through how to build your business credit even as a new business, when you are applying with lenders, different vendors, and you want to build your score as well as get approved for loans and lines of credit, they're looking at where is your business located? Is, are, is your business address the same as you, the owner's address? And typically, in order to have that heightened perception of your business, and to allow the bank or the lender, whoever it is, to see your business as really truly established, you wanna make sure that your address as the owner is separate from your business's address. So that's another key benefit of having a virtual address is the legitimacy. And the third thing would be the convenience. You will be able to set it up so that any mail, any documents that are sent out, any packages that you receive, you can actually send them and receive them with your virtual address as the return to sender address. So the third reason, oh no, it's this one. Oh, it's a fake, you can just, yeah. So the third reason a virtual address is really great for your business is for convenience. So if you have an e-commerce or product-based business, or if you're an influencer or consultant and you want to send out packages or receive mail from other businesses, you can receive it and send it from your virtual address and it will simply forward over to your actual address. So your business, the customers, whoever is sending you something, 
thinks that they're sending it to the virtual address, but you can set up forwarding to where it actually comes to your home address or wherever is most convenient. So that's a win-win because you're still maintaining that privacy to where your home address is not the one publicly listed on your business and you have the convenience of a virtual address so you can still do business as usual. So those are the top three reasons why you need a virtual address. Now, let's talk about some companies where you can get a virtual address for as low as $20 a month. So the number one company I would recommend is virtualaddress.com. Simple as that. I'll link it down below to make sure that you can find it. You can set up a virtual address there in just about any state and pay maybe $29.99 a month, $19.99 a month, depending on what what service you choose. Now, you want to make sure that when you do set up your virtual address, you register it with the state. Also be sure that you update your virtual address with your bank account, with your business credit vendors, and also with your DUNS number. All of these addresses and your business information have to match so that everything is accurate and so that your business credit score increases. So I'm gonna link my course down below the business credit bundle so that you can get everything you need to actually build up that score, get your trade lines, continue getting improved. And because you guys are my YouTube family, I'm gonna give you a special discount. So that'll be down below, okay? The second place that I would recommend you get a virtual address is called iPostal. So that's letter I, Postal, P-O-S-T-A-L, okay? That is another great one that is inexpensive. Now, I want to put you guys onto my favorite solutions for a virtual address, and that is to get an address from a physical location like this. So you all know, you've seen in my last vlog where I got my first office for my business. I'll make sure to link that up here as well. You took a tour, everything. So I am in a Spaces office, which is owned by Regis. So there's a couple things you can do with this, right? You can actually rent out an office or lease an office space, or you can pay for a virtual address with companies like Spaces, WeWork, Regis, to where your mail comes here and then it can obviously be forwarded to your home address. And better yet, in addition to you having a virtual address at these locations, you also are able to have access to come and have meetings here. You can use some of their offices for a day, typically up to five days per month, and you're paying a low monthly fee for that. I love that option because if you are in the business of coaching or consulting or you need to be able to meet with clients, having a space you can come to that's not your home is amazing and it really builds up the legitimacy of your company, especially to other local businesses. So that is a major key. Make sure you write that one down, okay? All right, you guys, so I told you that at the end of this video, I was going to tell you a secret as to how all of these costs, whether you're paying $20 a month for your virtual address, $100 a month, $300 a month, are all going to be free. And that is through, come close, a tax write-off, okay? Big tax write-off. Let me see you guys write that down, say it out loud, tax right off okay this is one of the best benefits of having a business having an llc and being really truly established is that expenses like these virtual address office spaces equipment computers these things that non-business owners are buying are not tax write-offs right when they go to get a new apple computer when they go to pay for some service they're not able to write it off. But you, as an up-and-coming entrepreneur, as an up-and-coming business owner, you are going to be able to write these things off. So when you pay for an office space to lease it monthly, when you pay for your virtual address, your business phone number, all of these things are considered regular and ordinary in order for you to facilitate your business operations. Thus, they are fully and completely tax deductible. 
So that, in effect, is how whatever you decide, whatever method or route you decide to take for your virtual address, for your office space, it is going to be free and fully tax deductible. So do what is best for your business. You have to recognize as business owners and some of you as new business owners that the perception of your business is often what will open the most doors for you, okay? So make the investment of $25 a month, $50 a month, whatever it might be, to have that separation between you and your business. It's going to open you up to more opportunities from clients. It's going to open you up to more opportunities on business credit and lending. Honestly, y'all, there's no way to lose with this. So I am so glad that you guys watched this video to the end. Remember, I am going to link all of those virtual address providers down below. I am also going to link my course, the business credit bundle for you so that you can really level up your business credit score and start getting approved ASAP. So remember to like this video, share, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget, you are almost a millionaire. You just have to start right now. See you guys.